Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create a new level or new map inside Unity uh, in MFPS multiplayer uh, system. So, uh, for creating a new map, uh, we have do two options. We can create a totally new scene and we can set up our own environment and then we can uh, add the custom things like AI manager, item manager, UI etc and that's it. The another way is quite easy and we can duplicate the current scene and we can change the environment. So this is the better option. We can definitely create our own environment but in this case we are using some pre-built environment. You can import some assets from asset store or in sun.net website and in this case I have imported a asset named industrial area and in industrial area we have two uh, scenes set up one is daytime and uh, now uh, you can see that we have this environment and the first thing uh, I have made is I just created an empty object and inside this empty object I have added these uh, everything directional light street and colliders so now we have this scene and uh, I just create a prefab for this environment so you can go to prefabs and you can just drag drop this environment here and now this environment is as a prefab available to us so now we will set up our scene so we will go to MFPS scenes and here we have this example scene we will open this scene and we will duplicate the scene before that one more thing very important is that if we go to content uh, sorry resources you can see a game data prefab in game data prefab we have several options you can definitely play with these options but we also have one option of offline mode so we have to in uh, default it will be off so we have to switch on this offline mode so what will happen that we can ch check our game without going online okay so within the unity itself it, in editor we can check the game so it's very important so after that we will go to scenes and this is our example level we can duplicate the scene by going to save as and we can go to mfps scenes and here we can create a new scene so for example we can name this scene as a industrial and then uh, in mfps uh, scenes we have a new scene named industrial so in this scene we will delete the old environment asset you can see that in this scene we have this environment asset so i will just delete this asset and now we have a blank environment we will go to assets prefabs and then we can just move this environment over here and now we have a new environment we can definitely place this environment by 000, zero or the default position is also fine it's uh, up to you that where you want to place the environment when we place the environment now we have to check one more thing that there should be a collider on the uh, ground here in this environment you can see that we don't have any collider you can place a train if you want um, uh, in the bottom of this environment or you can create colliders one by one or we can create a one collider for all the environment so i will go to the last uh, option and we can just create a box or cube here or uh, we can create a plane here so let's create a plane and this plane definitely have a mesh collider so we will just make it bigger so let's make it bigger when this is quite big we will just place it at the right position so let's place it at the right position this is the right position and now we will just uh, switch off the mesh renderer okay so now we have a nice collider at the ground so it is very important 
now we will move further and uh, we will create some uh, one more thing that this is the prefab and when we create the plane it may not be applied to uh, the environment yeah it's not applied to environment okay so what we can do we can just uh, move this plane outside the environment so it would not be in the prefab or you can definitely extend the prefab and add that plane to prefab as well okay so it's up to you uh, now we have this environment and now we will see that how we will set up the new map so we'll go to mfps tutorials and here we have a option of add map in this option you will find the documentation related to map here in this documentation the main thing is that this um, uh, in default the levels are not optimized for mobile so you can optimize your own levels um, for your mobile game uh, we will go to the next step and here he will say that the first thing is to add the level here okay so definitely we have a level uh, which is called uh, industrial so we will drag drop this industrial asset here and then we will click on continue and then we will click on check scene and he will show us that game manager AI manager etc is everything is present in the scene because we have duplicated the already pre-built level okay so now you can see that we have everything in place and now we will click on next scene and he will see say us that you can set up your camera so for camera if we move to our game manager here you will find the camera and if we select the camera you can see the initial place of the camera okay here and you can set up the camera as per your need so we can move the camera like this like this okay so wherever we want we can set up our camera and this will be the initial position of our cam okay so that's nice now the camera is set up we will move to next step and here he will say that you can create spawn points for team one team two for all okay so now we have to select at least one spawn point for each item so we will select team 1 and we will click on create spawn point so now in scene you will see that we have a spawn point here uh, in our level and we can place it at any point I will just uh, place it yeah so I will place it near to ground and if you want to place it exactly at the ground you can check the ground position and you can assemble its position to the ground okay I will just uh, add it randomly because we are not uh, creating our levels uh, perfectly uh, aligned so I will just uh, add it randomly at any position it can be below the surface actually it should not be below the surface it should be uh, on the surface always so now we can create a new uh, spawn point for team 2 and here in the scene you will find another uh, spawn point and we can definitely set up this spawn point as per our need wherever we want okay one more spawn point we can add is for all we can create a new spawn point and now we can just adjust the position of the spawn point as well uh, please note that these positions are not absolutely fine so I am just adding these positions randomly definitely in your game you have to adjust the positions perfectly as per your need okay so I am just adding these randomly so after uh, initiating the positions we will click on next page and in next page he is saying that we have to bake our environment according to uh, AI's 
so we have to make it navigation bake uh, so for that purpose we should have this navigation tab here if you don't have this tab you can go to windows ai and then you can click on navigation so now we have this navigation tab before applying navigation to our environment we will select our environment also we will select the plane as a and we will make both these items at a static okay so after making these objects static we will go to navigation and in navigation we will go to bake and we will click on bake environment it will start baking our environment and after some seconds our environment is perfectly baked so after baked now we are ready for next steps before going to next steps we also have one more option of cover points so these points are actually the points of ai uh, manager for ai manager here you can see the cover points and we can adjust the position of these cover points if we want for the example i am not doing so i will just leave these cover points at their own positions and then we are uh, going to click on next and the last step will be the map custom name here we can place the map custom name industrial and here we can add the uh, sprite for this map i already have bring this industrial picture uh, i just created this picture with snipping tool and then we will click on this map sometimes when we click on this map you can see we are not getting the option of save and that is because some another scene is saved with the next industrial name so i will just change the name to new industrial new and then click on list map and you can see that we have a option of save let's save and that's it we have successfully created a new level let's play the game and test it whether it's working or not so that's nice you are see as you can see that we have successfully added the yeah yeah that's nice. so that's nice you seen the uh, you you saw that we have successfully created the map and everything is working absolutely fine in next video we will move further goodbye